Senor Rolo, there are rumors of a new world. A new world? Well, that must be better than conquering the old one. There are also tales of a fountain of youth in Florida. Then we'll just have to make a little stop on our way to conquering the new world. Turned on life. <laughs> the new world, Mexico. Gee, Senor Rolo, it was a really good idea to build a hotel in your plan to conquering the new world. No, I know. <laughs> I bet Paris will be great. Gumby, sir, may I please have your autograph? Yeah, sure. Gumby, sir, Gumby, I'm writing. Gumby, Gumby, sir, Gumby, Gumby, sir, Gumby. Wake up, please, Gumby. Gumby, sir, will you please put on your seatbelt? Gumbo, did you have to bring that chair onto the airplane? It's my special seat. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to thank y'all for flying Northeast Airlines. I'm afraid we're going to be delayed a few hours because I've been told by my co-pilot, Mr. Pencil here, that we've been going the wrong way. It seems that our fancy, whatchamacallit, uh, GPS system had some kind of malfunction and have been giving us the wrong coordinates. Now, I've been assured by Mr. Pencil here that the problem has been corrected and that we should be traveling the right direction to Paris. Thank y'all for your patience, and thank you for flying Northeast Airlines. A few more hours on the plane? A few more hours with Gumby. Uh, a few more hours in my special seat. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry about that. Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Mr. Pencil. Why'd we bring Nopey on our vacation? Nope. That wasn't a yes or no question. But Gumby said to bring him. He knew it. It's always Gumby's fault. Oh, come on, Gumbina. He's a speaking dog. Nope. Yeah, that only says one word. All right, let's all calm down. Gumbina, you could be a little bit nicer. And Gumby, why don't you teach your dog some new words? But mother, he can speak no in five languages. No, nine. We've all heard that a hundred times. This car we got was quite the deal. What did you say, Gumby? I think he said oil. Wait, no. 
said it's a nice four-seat car to fit six people and one dog. He said that dad's special seat doesn't help. Honey, stop the car. It's one hundred and fifty dollars for pump. Oh yeah, here you go. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. Excuse me, it's one hundred and fifty dollars to park. One hundred and fifty dollars? Oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, free. Hey, you know, you can get confused. Oh, that's good. Excuse me, what is this place called? The New World Hotel. <laughs> How much does a room cost here? Ah, the rooms are free, and I hope you enjoy your long, long stay. Suspicious. Free parking and free rooms. Hmm. Hey, you can see the Eiffel Tower from here. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I could have sworn there was something out there. Hmm. I'm gonna go check out the lobby. Pokey? Hmm? Oh, Gumby. What are you doing here? I've taken a trip to Paris for the week. <laughs> no, 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 Gumby. We're in Mexico. What? Mexico? Hey, you. No socializing in the lobby. You'd better explain all this. Well, you see, I'm Gumby, and he's po- Oh, Gumby, you're my favorite actor. I mean, all the series and stuff. Oh, can I take a picture with you? Um, sure, I guess. Can you hold my drink for me first? Wait, gotta take another sip. Thirsty. What's wrong with that guy's mouth? I think they're his arms. You wanna take a picture with me? I'm Pokey. Uh, who? I mean, I'd rather... Ah, uh, oh, come on. He's a, uh, you know, pony pal pokey, too. Yeah, he doesn't have to take a picture with me if he doesn't want uh, to. Yeah, I, I don't want to. Ah, oh, come on. He'll feel bad if you don't want to take a picture with him. Get the darn phone away. Well, if we're in Mexico, what are you doing here? I've taken a job to get a little extra money. Well, who's doing this? It's the Senor Rolo guy. I thought he was trying to make people pretend they're in another place. But no, he's trying to trick people into thinking they're in another place. We gotta tell this to everyone. So you're saying we're in Mexico, not Paris? Yeah, you've been tricked. But what is this Senor Rolo guy up to? Since the pencil guy charged $150 to that other guy for parking, and we were charged nothing. That means it's a design to attract everyone. And the window is fake, right? Yeah, just desert out there, no Eiffel Tower. So, it's designed to trick people. And we don't see anybody else here. So, they all must be leaders and celebrities that want to be alone. So that Senor Rolo can rise up without any other leader or celebrity standing in his way. Well, we gotta stop this guy from tricking everyone. For all we know, Gumby, he could already have tricked everyone. We need to stop him from writing a speech that he will say in front of live television to the whole world so that he can become a leader. Prickle, how'd you figure all that out? Just skill, man. Just skill. Alright, here's what we need to do to stop him. Phase one. Bonjour. Oh, uh, bonjour. Yeah, wee oui, wee oui, wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, bonjour. Uh, yeah. Just as I figured. He doesn't know French. Alright. Phase two.
Uh, whose store is this? This is Senior Rollo's store. Now all we need is the key card. Don't worry, got it right here. It can't reach. Give me that. Gumby and Gumbina, you stay here and guard the door. We always get the lame job. Gumbina, stop complaining. It's true, though. Yeah, it, it is. What's this thing? It's Senor Rolo's ink cap. What do we need that for? <sighs> now, how to get it without anyone noticing? Hmm. Now what do we do? Phase 3. Call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Gumbina, you go back and get the others. Uh, 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 fine, whatever. Am I sure glad to be out of there? Not yet, you aren't. If you refuse to be taken care of, I'm going to have to take care of you the proper way. You'll never be later. Oh, I will. You'll see. All I have to do is write my speech with what? Uh, with myself. I'm a pen, you see. I'm afraid, senor, that you have officially run out of ink. Oh, you dried me up? Oh, I'll get you back for Zardu. Freeze! Hm? What? I said freeze! Alright, fine. Whatever. Take me in. But I promise you, I'll be king of the world someday. Am I sure glad to be going home? I've tried to conquer the old world and failed. I've tried to conquer the new world and failed. I've tried to conquer the whole world and failed. What else is there left to conquer? Well, you could conquer the moon. Ah, yes. The moon. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, be quiet. Wait. Oh, come back here. This was not a good idea.